I'm home court, just dead in trial. Why ain't I see you around by when So what was Jam Master J like? Like that whole thing, I mean, cause you hooking up with an iconic figure like him. Like, you know, what was he like? Hmm. And what was that moment like? Cause you had to know that okay, this we probably got something with this, cause this is this is a legend right here who's who's co-signing us and really trying to fuck with us. Well, what JMSJ was like, he was fucking everything you heard and more, you know. Mm -hmm. Um he was like the big brother I never had, you know what I mean? A mentor. Um, and Jay was gangster. We went to his crib in uh lower Manhattan. This nigga showed me more automatic weapons than I ever seen in my fucking life. He just kept pulling, because you know, he knew I was a gunhead. Mm -hmm. He just kept pulling them out. I'm like, oh shit, then another one. Oh shit, another one, another one. Crazy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And as far as, you know, working with him, um, yeah, I kind of knew that we was going to fuck everybody up, because that's all I wanted to do anyway. I ain't care about fame yeah. or fortune. I was uh, content with just cutting hair, cutting school to cut hair. And making like fifteen hundred a week mm -hmm. at like sixteen, seventeen years old mm -hmm. in the barbershop, you know. So I mean, so and I just sixteen, want, that ain't bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's and it's legal. Right. You know, I just wanted to just be the illest MC ever. Mm -hmm. And I think I did that. And then you gotta keep doing it though. And you know, and you know, we were we were groomed by the best by Run DMC. Right. You know, how to excuse me, control a crowd and do a show, pardon me, and you know, so forth and so on. Mm hmm so being an East Coast dude, I mean, did you ever listen to any other music outside the East Coast? Did you, what were your other influences? I never musical? looked at it like East Coast or any other coast. Just good music yeah, right, right. bad music. What was some of the other stuff you listened to, you know, uh, other rappers from other places? Everybody. I listened to everybody. Whether I like them or not, I listen to them. Mm -hmm. But I listened to everybody. You know, the NWAs, the, you know, Ice-T at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, 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 it, it, the list goes on, you know? Right, right. So yeah. you, you hook up with, with Jam Master J, and y'all do y'all first deal? No, you that was the second deal, because you said the first My deal. first, their yeah. second. And Def Jam. Def Jam. I right. signed my contract illegally, because I was 17. I was a minor. Wow. So, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, damn. Okay. But I ain't snitching. <laughs> but the thing is, is so I read somewhere that basically they said that y'all saved Def Jam. Absolutely. But you know what? Uh, I think probably a few artists probably did that. Yeah, you know, I know DMX did it later. I, yeah, I just heard about the DMX shit. Yeah. They, 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 so, you know, they they making money, they spending all their money. Now you're in the deficit, and they need a new artist to come through and save the day. You yeah. know. So what was that like? I mean, you coming from cutting hair, making fifteen hundred dollars a week, right? And now all of a sudden, you with one of the most iconic rap labels, you know what I mean? And you working with with Jam Master J. I mean, Incredible. What was that especially uh -huh. you, obviously active in the street too. So you know having to make that transition from, you know what I mean, being in the streets, doing what you're doing, and then now you're in this industry. I mean, you make no transition. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, you know, it's, an, it's incredible. It's like, I call it the whirlwind. Yeah. You know, when that shit first started, it's a whirlwind. And then 10 years later, you come out the whirlwind like, yo, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you jump in another whirlwind, do another album, or you do a movie, and yeah. you know, ten years later, like, oh shit, you know, um, it's incredible. Def Jam's the greatest hip hop label on the earth. Mm -hmm. Run DMC is the greatest group ever. Mm -hmm. You know, the first ones too. So you know, was uh, Russell was Russell still hands on at that time? He was in Def Jam building. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the first time we went to Def Jam, mm -hmm. I'm asking Fredro, I'm like, yo, who that right there? He's like. Nigga, you don't know who that is? I'm like, nah. Mm -hmm. He's like, nigga, that's Russell Simmons. I'm like, oh, all right, well, how the fuck I'm supposed to know? So, yeah. you know what I mean? So he's definitely here, you know? 